What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Landeris. You already know. You see it. You see it. LNL Line Service, Kansas City, Missouri, Blue Springs area. Mm -hmm. Back at you. Hey guys, I want to make a quick video uh, of my 2024 equipment and lawn care setup. Just to let you kind of see as a solo uh, guy, what you can acquire and what you can work with. And uh, and I'll try to break down some of the prices as I go along, as far as when I, when I purchased them. Might not be the same prices now, but I'm sure they're up. But uh, I'll try to remember to try to break down some price, price ranges so that you can get a general idea of what what sometime it takes to buy some of this uh, equipment it's not cheap so we're gonna start out with my trucks first uh, I acquired these trucks over time you know and uh, they're all paid off so uh, let's get into it all my equipment is paid off just to let you know um, it's all paid off and it took a while. This is the first year that I'll be running my business with it, um, with everything paid off. Uh, this is the, the eighth year. So this is how long it kind of took to get here. It took about eight years to, and you can get there quicker too, but I have some more uh, expensive things that I have that kind of took this long pay them off and, and to get things the way they are now but let's start off with my my f-150 this is the first truck i got eight years ago it probably has uh 210,000 miles on it i got it for 10 10k still running strong 10k it's a uh ford f-150 i got black beauty here my uh diesel Duramax 2500 uh, I got this a couple of years ago uh, to pull my leaf trailer and it's a 2015 diesel uh, I paid about uh, a couple of years ago 40 grand for this I got my workhorse right here it's a diesel it's a f-250 uh, diesel with the ramp rack and I paid about 17 grand for this uh, the ramp rack was you know with everything included with the ramp rack was probably about five and a half grand five five it was about five five for everything you know uh, with the cages and and the, the racks and all that stuff you're going to pay about five. Now, I'm not sure what you're going to pay now, but I paid about five for everything uh, with the ramp rack. Uh, you guys seen the Leaf Nimble trailer system. I spotted this at the GIE, and I, he was doing Leaf jobs, and uh, I got tired of doing, you know, the mulching and the, the running them over and putting them in bags. So I invested in this. It is... Uh, this was about 40 grand for this uh, it does more than just collect leaves uh, you can haul small equipment on here skidsters things like that it tilts up and down and it also has um, it also has a conveyor belt to easily dump your materials or your debris out of here takes seconds to push the button and it conveyor belts its way out all right so I also got uh, my racks on here I got my racks on here equipment defender I got one for my gas one for my blower on each side okay I got my my uh, Horizon uh, enclosed trailer. At the time, I got this for about five grand. 
I'm sure it's more than that now, but I got this for about five grand. It's a, it is a, it's a, a 16 by eight foot, 16 by eight foot. And okay, so let's go in. So that's my trailers and my trucks. And I love it now that I can just sit them all in one spot here. I mean, it's great now that I got the space to sit everything in one spot. I'm so excited about that. Just to have the space, finally get the space and stuff for it. So let's go in here and check out some of the, the equipment that I use for my business. All right. You guys stand with me. All right, let's start off over here. Uh, at one point in time, I had this all in my third car garage, just cluttered, cluttered, cluttered. Now I got space in my shop, as you can see, still getting organized, still doing some things to it, still tweaking it out, but I just got space now, space. Got storage space up at the top, you know, and all this space down here. So. This is what I'm running with. Uh, I am, I am no, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, um, I have different brands that I use. I'm not dedicated to one brand. If it works, it works. And that's all, I, that's all I care about. Um, uh, if the brand is good, uh, I'm using it. So. But I do prefer to mess around with Echo more. Um, I can say I am more of an Echo guy due to the fact that, in my opinion, they're a little bit durable or, in my case, they last uh, a little bit longer, in my opinion, the equipment that I have, I'm trying to get this right, so... I don't have anybody saying, well, steel is better, blah, blah, blah. I ain't had problems with my steel. Everybody has their own problems and their own circumstances. With me personally, I haven't had too many problems with my echoes at all. When I converted over to steel, I was having like to take the steel in here and there, get it tweaked, uh, get it adjusted, uh, more carburetor uh, issues, things like that. So... That's in my opinion. So let's get that out the way. All right. I got I got a Echo Chainsaw, uh, Steel Hedger. Um, chainsaw probably about 350, somewhere around there, close to 400, 350. The the Hedger, Steel Hedger, that was close to like four 450. I got my my Echo uh, PB80 8010. I got two of those, and those run about 600 a piece. I got my Steel 800 uh, that runs about 600 a piece. 600. I got my um, Husqvarna 150 BT uh, that I had ever since I started. Still runs, still blows. Um, that was probably about 350 at the time that I got it. Uh, I have a, uh, weed eaters, attachments, the weed eaters, uh, Echo, Echo. I got me a steel combine. I got me a uh, Echo combine. Uh, these range between the, the, the standalone uh, weed eaters range from 250 to... 325 up to $400, 450 sometimes. So I'm just giving you a, a broad base of uh, a general idea with some of this stuff price range wise. Um, I do have a Toro battery. I'm not impressed with it. Uh, I'm going to try it out again this summer and see what happens. But I'm not impressed with the weed eaters. Um, I'm just not impressed with the, the battery operated stuff yet. Uh, and 
I got me an extension for my combine systems, rakes, shovels, attachments. All these are a mixture of steel and echo attachments to go with the combine system. Um, I got my power wash. I got my uh, my spreaders. My spreaders. Power wash was probably uh, $500. Uh, all those attachments probably range from $99 to $275 to $300. I also got um, uh, articulating hedgers uh, that goes to the combine systems. Um, I got, let's go with the cart mate. I got the cart mate um, wheelbarrow. Oh, I forgot how much that costs. Somebody help me out. I forgot how much that cost. Uh, it could have been I don't want to say the wrong price, but it could have been like, oh, I would say between that 300 to 500. I'm not sure, but I know it's somewhere along there. Uh, I got this leaf plow, same thing, between 400, 300 to 500, somewhere around that line. Not sure. Um, I also got the snowmate attachment uh with the winglets on it that was probably 900 bucks for that thing with the winglets when it came out at the gie and i purchased it uh i have a 52 inch skag v-ride with the kohler engine this was given to me after uh some scumbags stole my 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 trailer and they gifted this to me to keep me going with my business. So shout out to Kohler. I always would be grateful for, to you guys for doing that for me. Uh, also got the 52-inch V-Ride that I ended up getting back from the scumbags that stole my stuff. But it's the only thing that I got back. Um, but I'm glad I got something back. <sighs> I got the 36 inch is what, what I use the most for my residential lawns, getting in and out of the backyards and things like that. So I carry that majority of the time and it has the um, uh, Kawasaki engine, 19 horsepower. So um, yeah. I also have the, so the, I'm going to tell you what these range, these 52s, I don't know what the, the, the price on them now, but the 52s are about 10 grand and on up. They might be more now, I'm not sure, but uh, about nine, 89 to nine grand to 9,500 when I got these, uh, that's what they are, 10 grand and, and up. Uh, I believe they're around the 10 grand mark or whatever. You're at least paying about 10 grand for unless you buy them in a fleet or something like that. But the Skag V Ride 2, I got for about, uh, what was that? 85 to 9 grand for that. I got the Ferris, which is, uh, I got that for about 8,500 at the time. The Ferris stand on. Uh, blower. Uh, I got my Toro um, aerator with the cedar on the in the front. Uh, paid about twelve six for that. Uh, the Boss snow raider. I paid about twelve eight for that uh, with the four four foot blade on it. Uh, I got some more handheld tools, spreaders, walk behind spreaders. Another wheelbarrow. Um, let's see. I got the Turf Master, which was also gifted to me from Kohler. Shout out to Kohler again. They gave me a Turf Master after they stole my stuff, after they stole my trailer. Um, but they gave me a, the Turf Master and the 52 inch to keep me going in my business. Like I said, I was about to quit, but. 
I didn't. They kept me going, so I kept going. Uh, shout out to Kohler again. Uh, I got a 28-inch um, Pro Series Craftsman uh, mulch machine right here. And I have a, so I think this was like $900 for this. I also have, now I think the Turf Master over here is about 32, went, went 3200 when 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 I when I got this gifted to me, it was about thirty two hundred dollars. So I'm sure they're more. Everything's more these days, guys. Uh, I got a brush uh, weed eater. That was probably between three fifty for this thing. Uh, I got some backpack sprayers. Uh, two hundred and fifty. They about two hundred and fifty a piece. All right. I also got a chainsaw, two battery operated chainsaw. It does the job. It works. I wish it had a little bit more power to it, but um, it gets the job done. Uh, I like having that because usually your 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 um, chainsaws sit for a long time before you use them, majority of the time, unless you do a lot of trees. But they sit, and by the time you get ready to use them, man, they, uh, they don't start. Carburetors jacked up on it and everything. So... I think I paid about, I don't know what I paid for that. Uh, anybody got a Toro chainsaw? Uh, put in the comments of how much you pay for yours. Uh, I would I would basically say, I don't know, 350 to 400 maybe. 350 maybe. Somewhere around there. I know it wasn't 100 bucks, I'll tell you that. Probably 350 for that. The batteries itself cost about uh two hundred dollars a piece so i try to buy the combo sets and stuff and 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 get extra batteries and stuff so we got that uh what else that's about it guys got some extra sprayers some extra wheelbarrows uh that's about it guys uh let's see i got my my uh rbg 12 now to sharpen my blades i've been doing that i'm ready to rock and roll uh, but yeah, guys, that's a little, little bit of, uh, oh, I also got the Z Raider attachment, the Z Raider attachment, uh, that ran, oh man, what did I pay for that a couple of years ago? Uh, 2,500, 2,500 for the Z Raider, uh, attachment. Um, but yeah, everything else is what you see but yeah you can see that this stuff uh is expensive and you have to keep your maintenance up on it and keep them you know looking good and uh yeah but yeah guys that's my time i'm gonna get out of here um just wanted to give you a quick 2024 uh lawn care equipment truck uh setup so i uh, hope you enjoyed it um, and like I said, you, you, you can't, you can't really get all this stuff at one, at one time, you know, you got to acquire this stuff over a period of time and use what you get, what you can get, what you use. Don't, don't try to buy a lot of stuff where you're not using it. Um, everything in here I use, whether I use it on my property or I use it, um, uh, customers. So if I don't use it with the customers, at least I get something out of this by using it on my property. Cause, um, uh, I found out that it just worked out that way. If I, it, I can use this equipment also on my property since I got, you know, two acres now and some grass to cut. So, uh, if I don't use my 52s all the time, you best believe I'm putting them 52s on my property uh, to help cut the grass, but uh, I use everything in here. Um, so, all right, guys, uh, don't forget to uh, share this video. So, uh, trying to get to a thousand, I think I'm on seven, seven hundred something uh, subscribers. If you're looking at this video, you made it this far, go ahead and push the subscribe button. 
I'm trying to pump out videos. I'm trying to get some content out here. Uh, trying to, you know, up, up the game. Uh, so go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I'm out. Like, subscribe, leave your comments, hit that bell button. Do whatever you got to do, but you better do it. All right, guys, I'm out. See you on the next video.